Welcome to the European Chemicals Agency in Helsinki, Finland. How do you both feel on this important day? Well, we feel proud that we managed the first registration deadline and we also are um, very happy for industry to have, uh, to have been able to successfully submit their dossiers. So both th thumbs up for my staff and industry. And Christelle? So from my side, I would like to say that I'm extremely happy. I mean, that has been a, a quite a challenging period and uh, both for companies uh, back in September, we still had concern that the dossier would not arrive and they have arrived finally. So it's a great job from, from industry and from the staff, from the IT system, everything went very smoothly and I'm extremely happy and proud for, for the team who has managed to do that. So tell us what happened yesterday and in these recent weeks. Well, well last night um, we, we closed Reach IT for submission of dossiers. And actually, um, most companies that have tried to submit a dossier actually managed to submit a dossier. This is also thanks to the efforts that we did in phoning companies up who got stuck in the system. Uh, only a few didn't make it. And, uh, and, and we will help them in the, in the coming days. So, but what is important is that uh, we have received so many dossiers uh, successfully and uh, proven that uh, the system can sustain uh, all this traffic and we, we had a backup system, but we never used it. Crystal, I've got a question for you specifically. I understand that ECHA received around 25,000 dossiers. What does that tell us? So something that I would like to stress is these dossiers represent information on uh, somehow uh, more than 4,000 substances and something like 3,300 uh, phasing substances. And, and these substances are uh, the most problematic substances, either because they are in large volumes or somewhere in Europe or they are considered as hazardous. So basically, it's a great achievement that we could collect so much information on these substances. And that's what these dossiers uh, tell us. And of course, uh, there are still a lot of things to do now that we have the information. We have to evaluate them, we have to publish this information. But basically, uh, it represents the first, uh, a first milestone in what Rich wanted to achieve, getting information on those substances. And what's your message for any companies who missed that deadline? We have published in our website a number of information, some information for those having missing the deadline. And I strongly encourage everybody to look at this information on our website. But uh, in a nutshell, uh, they are very encouraged to submit as soon as possible and uh, submit a dossier uh, very quickly. And what would you say, GATT in particular, is the long-term impact of today? Well, the long-term impact of today is that uh, the, the chemicals that we use daily um, uh, as a consumer will have a higher level of protection for us, for our health and the environment. And also, and in particular for workers, it will be uh, a much safer place to work than it used to be. So I think it's, uh, it's very good news for, for Europe. And so now, can you sit back and relax, or do you have another challenge looming? Well, unfortunately, we have another challenge looming, because on the 3rd of January, we, we are getting uh, the CLP notifications in. They are, they are already coming in, and it's not thousands of dossiers, but millions of dossiers. So uh, uh, we will have to continue to work around Christmas. But we do this in the interest of Europe, and uh, we do this with a smile. And so what's your final message to people watching? Final message is that uh, we're, we're very thankful for, for the support they have given over the last years and for the faith they have put in REACH and in our agency. And I think we have lived up with that and uh, we can all now aspire for a better future. Thank you very much. Thank you.